Ashley here. Um, haven't done a vlog by myself for quite a while. So we're on the chair of toys. Um, so I'm going to do a little haul from Florida. Rob did his last week. I think it was actually a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to do my haul. Um, I was like, oh, I'm not going to do one because I didn't actually buy that much. I bought quite a lot. <laughs> As I soon realised when I was looking through my stuff for this video because I wasn't going to do one and then I was like do you know what I think I might. Um, it is mainly clothes so some Disney some not so if that's not for you thanks for watching and all that kind of stuff. If you're new here hi Robin Ashley I'm obviously Ashley he's Rob um, thanks so much for subscribing we are about to hit 750 which is just unbelievable um, started this channel nearly it's almost come to two years in June um, mostly doing it just like just to document our lives and stuff yes I found it I'm vlogging thanks so that's Rob shouting out oh sorry <laughs> my vlog so yeah go away hi how are me hobo Rob <laughs> so yeah Thanks again for subscribing. Just thought I'd do a wee shout out. So I'll start with the non like clothes related stuff I think first. So I bought a new pair of ears. So I bought the Epcot ears. They're cute aren't they? Go away. Rob's all running around and it's putting me off. Yeah so I bought the Epcot ears with the bubblegum wall bow. So yeah I think quite a lot of people own them. Um, I wasn't going to get ears this year but couldn't resist these little guys so they were cute and they were your kind of standard $30 I think they are. Now on our trip I got really sore feet like extremely painful like not just blisters like just painful like swollen feet and see so you trying to find foot, like moisturiser or cream or something in like a CVS it's a nightmare like they don't keep it with like in boots you would know where to go. So I ended up paying quite a lot of money and I got, it's called Peppo Foot Moisturising Stick and it's tea tree and peppermint and it's soft and, and re refresh tired toes. And I got this in Epcot. It was a little stand um, just between Canada and the UK pavilion and they were doing like lots of products and stuff like I think it's quite, it's homemade, yep homemade in Monroe GA, I don't know where GA is, at Georgia, I'm not sure, um, but the price is still on this and it was $16.99 and I have to say that it was worth it because this little baby is, and it smells amazing as well, it's really minty, yeah, so that helped my feet, kind of not Disney related but kind of Disney related, so if you're ever in the parks and you're ever struggling and you can't find any foot cream, keep your eye out on the little like kind of pop-up places. I got Edna. Now the reason I got Edna is because she was in the character warehouse out at Vineland Avenue Premium Outlets. She was four dollars. I used my old boss reminded me of Edna so I got her and my old boss will be getting this soon. <laughs> Just as like a little reminder of what I used to call her. I used to call her Edna. So she was cute and she was a bargain at like $4. So I don't think I would have paid $17 for her plus tax. So yeah, she was a good purchase. Good spot. I think you all, all know what this is. So Bath & Body Works. So I love Bath & Body Works. Um, I only usually buy their anti-back. Their little ones. The only thing going in December is it's mostly like Christmassy cinnamon -y smells there's like a couple of like normal ones but not that many so like I've got Tis the Season, A Thousand Wishes, um, Spread Cheer, Frosted Cranberry, Peach Bellini that's one of my favourites that's not obviously a Christmassy one but like I go through that quite a lot Making spirits bright, robotic breeze, whatever robots smell like. Winter winter candy apple, so it's quite cinnamony apple. -y. Santa's favourites. As you can see, there's like a theme going on here. Okay, I'm looking forward to going back 
and having the normal rather than the Christmas ones. I've got sweet pea because it's always nice and champagne toast which I'm not actually that fond of but like I said it was quite slim pickings because it wasn't, um, it was obviously Christmas season so everything kind of smells Christmassy which is fine except when it's not Christmas so yeah. And I think Rob Mick mentioned the Grinch. We'd bought a Grinch toy from Universal as well. So he's actually made it onto our couch. Oh, Perry's gonna fall. So this is our Grinch. Oh, look at his fingers. How cute is he? I bought that because I was impressed with myself because I met the Grinch. Um, and he was quite intimidating, so yeah. This is $22. <laughs> they saw us coming. But do you know what? He's cute. So we'll have him and Perry the Platypus is going to keep him company. So on to the clothes. I bought a lot of clothes. So so this was just an era postal. Long sleeve top. Really comfortable. I think I got it in a size large. Love that I'm a large over there. Not an XL like I would be here. And I think that was like one of the ridiculous offers at the like Buena Vista outlets. There's an era postal there. And it was like, buy one, get two free. And they were like, I think they were about six or seven dollars. So we went a bit mental. That was like, I wish we'd known about that shop at the start of our holiday because we definitely would have bought more stuff. But because it was towards the end of the holiday, we had like less money. So we definitely will be going back there in March. We're not gonna be doing a lot of shopping, but we're going back there. So we went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So I had to get the top. So I got the long sleeved one. So it's almost like a three quarter length. And it's just, yeah, you'd only buy it if you were at the Christmas party. So yeah, not a fan of the grey. Oh, it's also got a wee decal at the back, it says Magic Kingdom. Grey, I think, is not the most flattering colours. So yeah, I actually forgot I bought this one until I just opened my, my wardrobe with this. Oh, look at this, look at this bad boy. So it's a hoodie. It's got many ears on the top. I'm pretty sure this was Character Warehouse. Yeah, it is because it's from China. It's the China. It's from the China Parks, which I just realised now. Um, should have been forty five dollars, and I think I paid about fifteen for that. Fifteen dollars. So yeah, it's actually really cosy. It's really quite. It's fleece lined, so not great in Florida in the midsummer, but it's fine for the UK or Scotland. This was Aeropostal. Again, just a plain kind of long sleeved, but it's like there's seriously soft range and it is, it's like seriously soft. It's probably more like a spring top in the UK. It's probably too cold still to wear it. This one I forgot about as well. Again, Aida Postal, I don't think this was from like the super cheap shop. I think this was from the one in maybe premium outlets. I don't know. It wasn't the super cheap one. But I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but it's like, it's got glitter through it. It's so nice. I love the, like, the decal at the top there. So yeah, I don't know how much that was because I took the tags off in case I got stopped by customers. Um, and now on to the shop that I'm... Rob says I'm not allowed to go in next time we go because it's a budget trip because I spent too much money in it because they have so much different Disney stuff. Um, the shop I'm going on about is Box Lunch and it you can find that at the Florida Mall. I'll put a wee link to it down, down below. This shop is just for different Disney stuff. I love Disney stuff but like the parks I find are more generic and once you've seen one t-shirt it's kind of in all the shops. This shop is just crazy so i love haunted mansion and i love like if you follow me on instagram i've been posting pictures recently of me and my madame leota top so i did get that from walt disney world but i once i'd bought it i'd never saw it again and people have commented so many times but where did you get your top where did you get your top and i said oh, it was walt disney world but it was a long time ago um and i just love haunted mansion merch i love t-shirts home furnishings yeah you name it i i will buy it so i went a bit crazy in box lunch because they had quite a few t-shirts <laughs> that were haunted mansion themed so i think about three in the end and that was whittled down from about five and they weren't cheap i think they retail about 28 29 dollars but they are cute 
and they are so different. So the first one I got was the Hitchhiking Ghosts. How cute is that? It's actually, I, I thought it's got a smaller size, but I haven't. So I think it's going to be too big for me. What size is it? It says it's a large. But like the other one I got was a large and it's definitely smaller than that one. So the next one I've got is a red t-shirt. It said serpents and spiders, tail of a rat, call in the spirits wherever they're at. Again, unless you're a Haunted Mansion fan, you're not going to have a clue what this, that means. I did get another one, which I can't find now. Is that it there? Oh yeah, that's it there. Like I said, massive Madame Leota fan. <laughs> I love this top. I just love all things Haunted Mansion. So it says past, present and future, Madame Leota, spiritual advisor. Again, this is, I think this is a large, this is a large, so this will be quite a good size on me. Next, I have, oh, I love this top. I forgot about this one as well. Proper retro Epcot top. Long sleeved. This is before they released the spirit jersey of this top, which is a bit the week after we left. I'm glad I got this one though because I love the retro feeling of it. I like how it cuts changing. Like I was skeptical at first, wasn't a fan. Now I am. The next thing I bought was my Kate Spade. And it is very understated for a Kate Spade. It's just plain black. Um it says on the tag it was $279. It wasn't $279. I got it in the outlets at Premium Outlet Mall. And I think in the end I paid... I can't remember what I paid, but I paid with it on the card. $90. And it said it was £72 by the time it changed over. So I'm thinking it must have been about $85 maybe. So yeah, for a Kate Spade. And it's one that's, you know, it's a, it's a, good, a good size Kate. So yeah, loving that. Then I've got another Era Postal long sleeve top. Again, just in blue. Again, that was part of their buy one get two free deal. <laughs> and this is another Era Postal. Nope, this is an American Eagle. I'm talking rubbish. It's like almost, it reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. Like the pinks and the browns. They're like strawberry and chocolate ice cream so soft this one again i forgot that i bought that one and now on to my new obsession that goes with the ears spirit jerseys <laughs> oh dear so the first well it wasn't the first one i got it was one i found in the outlets and it was so if you can't read that it says hocus pocus villain spectacular magic king 2019 it's time for a whole bit of ho little Hocus Pocus and it's actually the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular so I think obviously this retailed at about $70 and I paid $15 for it at the character warehouse now I know I'm probably cheating because I wasn't at last year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party but I had to have it because I love Hocus Pocus I love the colour purple and I don't know if you can, yeah but you can see it. It sparkles! It's all sparkly. I love that. So I got another spirit jersey. The purple potion one! So yeah, it's not in the same pile because I've had this on numerous times already. Again, I'm in a size large and I think you guys know that they retail about $70. So yeah, no shock there. And then while we were out, <laughs> the new Bell of the Ball range got released. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I did really like purple and black are like my colours. So I got this as well. So it actually comes up really nice on the and what some people don't notice is it's like spattered with gold at the bottom. So yeah that was that was another purchase so yeah and that is the end of my haul so yeah that 
is what I purchased. I mean, I purchased other stuff, like a few bits and pieces that we haven't really gone into, a um, couple of bits of artwork, but we did kind of just buy stuff for ourselves. So, yeah, we bought the illuminations, but I think Rob mentioned that before. So, as Rob said, um, we have only three weeks until we go back to Florida. Yay! This is exciting nerve-wracking for me because I don't like flying but exciting because we're gonna get to experience Mardi Gras which I'm so excited about um, it's Rob's birthday when we're out um, so yeah looking forward to spending that not at work or you know celebrating at home so that'll be fun and then yeah so three weeks on Saturday so the 29th of February we fly out with BA so looking forward to it and um, thank you all so much for subscribing, liking and commenting. Um, if you've got any questions, please let me know um, and hopefully we'll be seeing you very soon. Thanks. Bye.